look, these countries, developing countries like Africa, they have broken down healthcare systems. They maybe have two doctors to hundreds of thousands of people living in rural areas. Mm. The challenges are, we, we can't even compare. So obviously, when I've been working in AIDS for the last decade, I've seen how hard it is to address these kind of pandemics. So Ebola is a really, really serious thing. And mm. I'm really not sure how we're going to address that. It's very, very mm. tough. Mm. The other issue that's cropped up recently is the I am a feminist. This is what feminism looks like, yeah. T-shirts. Yeah. I think you've worn one yet. Uh, well, so, uh, I haven't actually worn, worn one, one of those, Okay, um, but I have given an interview with the magazine. Right. There's a twist here because these actually cost £45 and uh, various yeah. senior politicians have been wearing them. Harriet Harman, yes. for instance, wore one in the House of Commons. And yet now it, it's being suggested or reported that possibly the £45 T-shirt has been made under sort of very low-wage circumstances. Yes. What do you think about something like that? I think this reflects the complexity of the times that we live in yeah. and actually in a way what it's done very successfully it's sparked debate and when it comes to feminism and women's rights around the globe that's what we need because very often this topic never never gets discussed we've been here in this country for years we still don't have equal pay for women mm. just in that's talking about here there's so much work to be done so I think they've been very successful and it's also as it happens highlighted the fact that women in the factory making this t-shirt are living on less what is it six 65 pence or something a day. Mm. So it's again, it's this complex society that we live in. It's a good thing it's come out. And, I, and you know, more strength, more tools. We must discuss feminism, no question about it. So it's interesting. So that's the point that actually we're talking about it, which is a good thing. Absolutely. Um, you're going to celebrate. I hardly dare say this. It's a big birthday, isn't it? Yes, I guess Christmas I do. Day, isn't it? <laughs> Christmas Day, that's right. I remember right, that. Yes. And uh, just before you say it, 60 is the new 30, right? <laughs> of course. That, yes. that much. That much. Of course yeah. it is. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. um, will you have special celebrations? No, you see, here's the deal. I've always been eclipsed by Jesus Christ every <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yes. So I never, you know, I can't, you can't compete with that. No, that's oh. so, true. You know, after a while. <laughs> you just get used to sort of having one present, not two. Mm. And in terms of looking ahead to, to other projects, are you, are, you, are you writing things down for songs in future? Hey, well, at this point in time, I'm very, very much focusing on nostalgia and all the, th all the things I'm doing, like coming, yes, coming to yeah. talk here. And I, I'm very myopic in that sense that I work, when I'm working, I'm just focusing on that. And then I have a little break and I figure out what, where my next steps are going to be. But I am very passionate about women's rights. As, as you know, mm. and so I think that really for me, that is the platform that I'm going to pursue more and more as I get into my dotage. <laughs> <laughs>